Hello everyone, I am Laura Cornish, Editor-in-Chief of Mining Review Africa, coming to you from DRC Mining Week 2022. I am joined by Lawrence de Quernan. Lawrence is the COO of Fraser Alexander. Lawrence, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's um, exciting to be here. Awesome. Lawrence, do you want to start by giving me a bit of introduction into Fraser Alexander's business? Yeah, so Fraser Alexander um, started more than 100 years back in South Africa, um, specializing in tailings management and, um, and tailings risk management, developing into a construction company, a mineral processing company, but predominantly having a focus on tailings management and then also the remining of tailings management and specializing in hydro mining. Great, so we are at DRC Mining Week. I'd love for you to share your experience here. And leading off from that, Lawrence, tell me about how Fraser Alexander has catered or adjusted its business to serve the local market here. Yeah, so it's been an interesting um, in a couple of days here. Um, you know, very positive, um, you know, showing us that um, our strategic intent in the DRC is aligned with, um, you know, the, the mining industry and where the mining industry in the DRC is moving. We see a lot of excitement on um, expansions on some of our big clients and, and you know clients that we've been involved with for, for quite some time and we've also a couple of years back we've looked at repositioning our DRC business making sure that we're fully locally compliant and also starting to develop a, a true DRC entity that um, you know consists of um, con management within country you know bringing in local talent into our business and um, you know developing a DRC business that we we know that um, you know is aligned with the, the DRC culture. Super. So one of the key themes that was addressed at DRC Mining Week was the topic of digitalization. I know that's very important for Fraser Alexander's business. Tell me how that fits into what you do. Yeah. So for us, um, you know, part of we do a lot of research and development in our business. Um, we've been on a digital journey over the last couple of um, years now. We we've done a whole assessment of our business. You know, we have um, standard processes and procedures that's been developed over many years that's um, you know, been tried and tested in industry for, you know, for a long period. And we've been converting those into digital solutions, you know, making sure that we get our management um, you know, structures digitized and, and you know, sharing of information more you know, closer to real time. We've also, our risk management of tailings is a you know, very important aspect to us. We, as Fraser's, we have more than 90 tailings facilities under our management across South Africa and Africa. And for us, it's important to be able to manage that risk on a near real-time basis. So we've developed the old, um, again, tried and tested tailings management system, um, risk assurance system, Taurus, that we're running. And that incorporates digital data and all of that into, into our management. And there's um, you know, experience oversight on these and, and engineering input. It's also very closely related to the engineers of record in industry and um, basically managing the risk for our clients. So through that, we, um, we incorporate a lot of digital solutions in that, a lot of IoT device instrumentation measurements and trying to manage that as near real time as possible. Fantastic, Lawrence. Great to chat about the business and particularly focus on the relevance of what you guys are doing in the DRC. Thank you. What a great conversation with Lawrence about Fraser Alexander and some of the brilliant work that they're doing in the DRC. I'm now joined by Christian Panga. Christian is the Country Operations Manager for Fraser Alexander. He's going to be talking a bit more localization with regards to the DRC. Christian, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Christian, let's start by talking specifically around the areas of focus for Fraser Alexander in the DRC and maybe you can talk about some of your client successes and wins here. Okay, uh, thanks for the question. Um, uh, currently, Fraser is operating uh, mainly in the southern sides of the DRC, in the um, Okatanga and Lolaba provinces. As you all know, these are uh, copper belts and now extended up to Kamoa, uh, which was out of the copper belt coverage as defined previously. And uh, at the moment, we're working mainly with uh, five. Um, uh, client, five major clients, namely with uh, <coughs> Ivanoe Mine at uh, Kamoa Project. We're working with the ERG Group at uh, Metal Code Projects, where we're doing two projects, both in deposition and hydro mining. And then we're working with KCC, uh, which is part of the Glencore Group, 
uh, doing idle mining as well, and we're working with the group Matrix at Rashi Mining. So, Christian, that's quite a good uh, footprint and, and track record there with some of your clients. Let's explore the potential opportunities that Fraser Alexander has identified for business in the DRC and, and highlight maybe some of the, the key services and strengths that could apply to the local market. Um, as part of opportunity that we have identified, first is within existing operations, we're seeing opportunity of improving existing practices to level it, to lift up all the standards within the mining sector to the global standard of the tailings management. This is something that has been introduced into the, the, the mining recently and everyone has to comply with. And that word Fraser is strong in and can assist mining to make sure that they comply. And more than that, Fraser is very engaged with new technologies. We're looking forward to do a trial of a ROMU, which is Remote Operating Mining Unit, okay. which we're gonna try at um, our operation at Metal Call in the ERG group. We believe it will be successful because it's a proven concept on other mine, and we believe it will improve both economic and standard practices for the client. Another aspect is related to safety. When it comes to safety, you know, everyone has to be um, liable. And Fred has put a lot of effort in leveraging um, uh, technology and mining, hydro mining methods to make sure that people are protected. So we are envisaging in one of our projects, namely at uh, Mumi, to put uh, remote um, operating cabin for, for hydro mining. To, to make sure that people are working away from uh, acidic spray of water. Wow, Christian, that's amazing. That's some really interesting project that uh, Fraser Alexander is working on. Yeah. So Christian, because we're at DRC Mining Week and such a large portion of our audience is French speaking, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to turn to the camera and talk to that local DRC audience, perhaps telling them why Fraser Alexander is the partner of choice for doing business in the DRC. So, Fraser Alexander est le premier choix en matière de gestion de, de résidus miniers ainsi que l'exploitation par des, des méthodes hydrauliques. Et Fraser Alexander a offert 110 ans d'expérience. Et pour le moment, Fraser s'est engagé dans un processus de localisation. Ce qui veut dire que Fraser envisage engager des nationaux faire un transfert de compétences et d'expertise, s'assurer que son engagement au niveau local peut laisser aussi une empreinte indélébile. Ce qui fait que Fraser s'engage avec les universités ainsi que les communautés locales dans les secteurs euh, où il opère pour s'assurer que euh, nous travaillons en conformité avec les exigences environnementales, les exigences sociales et dans la bonne gouvernance. Et à ces sujets, nous envisageons d'ailleurs recruter localement des ingénieurs pour les exposer euh, aux pratiques de, de Fraser Alexander, puisque ça ne s'apprend pas dans nos universités, mais nous sommes disposés à le faire pour euh, rendre meilleur hein, l'espace de l'employabilité des Congolais. Brilliant. Christian, thank you so much for joining me. C'est moi qui vous remercie.